What's up, babes? Welcome back. It's Barb City, where it be hella motherfucking litty. Let's go on ahead and get into this video. But before we do, always remember when in doubt, pull that motherfucking blunt out, okay? This video is going to be so good, you guys. So with that being said, let's get right into our first topic, which is going to be Sexy Red. So... Vivica A. Fox was caught liking a shady tweet about Sexy Red that we are going to get into. But before we do that, I did want to take the time to tell Sexy Red congratulations. As you guys know, Sexy Red did let everybody know yesterday that she is expecting a child. So she tweeted this yesterday. Um... Sexy Red, Team Boy, or Team Girl at SZA. And she also took this picture with SZA. You guys, I don't know. Sexy Red has been doing a really good job holding her stomach in because she is clearly pregnant, okay? I do not feel like this is a joke at all. Anyways, you guys already know when Sexy Red announced that she's pregnant, not only were people asking her, is it by the guy that leaked the tape to her Instagram story, but people are also assuming that the baby belongs to Drake because not too long ago, I did a video where Drake was calling Sexy Red his baby mama, right? Also, as you can see here, Sexy Red and Drake just did a song together, and I believe it is called Rich Baby Daddy, okay? This is on his recent album that he just released. So again, people are feeling like the baby may belong to Drake, but here were some of the comments by the man who leaked the video, LMAOF already. I thought her man was in jail. Drake is hiding right now pound town to ultrasound congrats sexy congrats congratulations and one more person saying who is the father okay now let's go on ahead and get into this little bit of tea that's going around about um vivica a fox allegedly liking a shady video that was made about Sexy Red, okay? This man that obviously needs to find something to do with his time was dragging Sexy Red. And like I said, it seems like Vivica A. Fox did like the video. First of all, check the video out. Unbelievable. Look at this dollar store, family dollar box of Jolly Ranchers with a side of Newports from the mom and poppy store. Look at that stomach. Like she got an abortion three days ago with a side of $300 on the side. The fuck is this? And I'm just like, first of all, what a clown. You bitch! How dare you? Oh my God! Okay, but like I said, as you guys can see here at the bottom, um, Miss Vivica A. Fox did like that video. Now, I don't know if that was on an accident, but here were some of those comments. Crazy how all the aunties and uncles be judging the younger folks, making their money. On TV, you played a whole stripper to make your money. Shut up. First of all, Sexy Red looks like a real person. There is nothing wrong with her body. Second of all, actually, that is all. And one more person said, y'all keep saying she just having fun. But it's people out here serious about this. Praying and wishing for an opportunity. And y'all passing out checks to blue faces and Sexy Reds. Baby, we don't need another mediocre representative bring back real talent now that person had a lot to say but let me know what you guys think about it and we're gonna move forward 
into ice spice and oh yeah congratulations sexy red okay no matter what um ice spice so ice spice did let the world know that she is dating someone but she is not going to let the world know who and here's her reason ice spice confirms she's officially in a relationship However, she won't reveal who the special someone is because she wants her supporters to keep their focus on what is here, what she's here for, excuse me, which is the music. So I definitely agree this is good for Ice Spice to be thinking this way because y'all already know as soon as these celebrities start talking about who they're dating, we start paying attention to that more than we do the actual music because not all me no let me stop anyways with that being said you guys a lot of people and i do mean a lot of people everybody in the comments of course feels like she's dating pete davidson okay i do not feel like that's who she's dating but i could very much be wrong let me know what you guys feel about that in the comments and here were just two comments she indirectly told her fans to mind their business and one more person said but what happened to me drinking her bath water it should have been me not him but me <laughs> that was so funny to me but at the same time extremely nasty let's go on ahead and move forward into natalie nunn so natalie nunn um, went live the other day basically crying because um, the flight that she originally booked was canceled and when they placed her on a different flight they gave her a middle seat and she said that she was claustrophobic and had a huge problem with this going ahead and check this video clip out I don't have anything there you go not funny, Jacob. I'm so claustrophobic for you, and that's why I'm laughing because Jacob is such an asshole, and that's the only person in the world I would call about this, and I don't even care. It is the worst. I'm claustrophobic. Everybody knows that. If you don't know, I'm the most claustrophobic person in the world. I hate elevators. You guys remember the elevator thing that happened when I got stuck in an elevator before, and I like literally cried for like a week straight. I'm not going to miss my nephew's Christmas So you guys, in this situation, I feel Natalie, okay? I feel her. I am like deathly afraid of spiders, okay? I am afraid of heights. I am afraid of elevators. I hate being on the elevator by myself, especially because I am afraid of heights. I can't imagine you know, being forced to sit with spiders or ride an elevator to the highest, highest, highest point by myself. You know what I'm saying? So in this situation, I definitely understand where Natalie was coming from. At the same time, this is Natalie and Natalie will do anything and everything for attention. Okay. So at the same time, although I felt her, I was like, mm -hmm, Natalie, because when it comes to you, it's not making any sense. But anyways, you guys, when the neighborhood talk posted this, they said, chin up. Natalie. <laughs> and here were some of the comments. But you can be in a club full of people on a sprinter full of people. Make it make sense. You will be okay, boo. The fact that she took the time to put a filter on before she recorded herself crying is wild work. And one more person saying, y'all don't get it. Planes are already claustrophobic because in your brain, you can't get out if you wanted to once you're in the air. And that middle seat makes me extremely claustrophobic too. So y'all, there were a lot of people in the comments that were agreeing with Natalie, but then again, 
people were calling her out like girl you just want to be seen let's go on ahead and move forward into our last topic which is going to be about 77 cents so sometime last week now this video is just coming up for me but i guess it did come out last week that 77 cents was not only called out for not being the girl's girl that she claims to be, but also having Glorilla replaced or replacing Glorilla on a song, however the uh, girl said it. But she was also caught yet again stealing lyrics. Check this video out. And oh yeah, thank you to Got The Stoop. Fuck, so anyways, all right, cool. Now he say that, so I'm listening. He said, also, Glorilla is getting took off the remix. We added Lotto. So I'm thinking in my head, why the fuck would y'all add Lotto on the remix and Lotto just went pop? That don't even fucking make sense and Lotto just went pop. Why is y'all adding Lotto ass on a motherfucking drill song? That ain't no drill, bitch. It don't even fucking make sense. It would have been a raw ass fucking Memphis ex Chicago collab because Glorilla was the first motherfucker to bring us out. Fuck is you talking about? So, okay, cool. Now, um, now after that happened, he said we added Lotto because Lotto has more streams than Glorilla at this time. I said, oh, okay, well, it's going to be us for and Lotto. Okay, cool. He said, no, nah, I'm taking all of y'all off. It's just going to be mellow because Lotto says she doesn't want none of y'all on a song. She only wants, she wants to bring the, be the one to bring out mellow. So, damn, gang, this was a collab. This was about females coming together. And my whole thing is I didn't fucking like the remix. And I'm going to keep it a buck because if y'all listen to the fucking remix, mind y'all, before Lotto on the remix she fucking um she definitely was po she posted my verse on her story mellow story so okay cool she posted my verse now look after she posts my verse i'm listening to her motherfucking verse on master tool she said you can hit the road jack if you don't like my attitude on my daddy the bitch stole my bar because i got a whole song called hit the road jack Hit the road, Jack, not even fucking Chicago lingo. So that's how I put two and two together. Knew that this bitch didn't even know. Mind you, Lotto already in the blogs for stealing motherfuckers' lyrics. So I already know she the one on my page. But I still ain't say shit, y'all. I still ain't say shit. Because at the end of the day, this was never about no bitch coming first. This was about females coming together. You bitches be weird. So anyways, cool. Lotto, he like, we finna drop it. I'm telling Locker, like, Locker, that's lame as hell. This was about females coming together. Why the fuck is you making it? Why is you making it about one girl? He, cause Mello is my artist. If you want to be as big as Mello, fire your mama. I said, gang. I'm just like, that is so bold. To have someone removed from a song and then F around and steal their bars. <laughs> Wow! Okay, that is shady, shady work. And in case you did not understand everything the lady said, Got the Scoop did break it down. She said female rapper Amari Blaze from Chicago goes off about how Mello Bucks team took Glorilla off the original remix to Boom and replaced her with Lotto because she had more streams than Glorilla. Amari Blaze also said Lotto stole part of her lyrics and didn't want any of the female rappers from the original song on the remix. So they all got taken off the song. Now, in my opinion, you know, I could be wrong, but that is definitely not given girls girl and Lotto lied. A lie. Like, look at how quick she lied. And here were some of the comments. This isn't her first or second time doing this to another female rapper. This is y'all's girls girl. Where's the unity at? LMAO, Alyssa is at it again. What happened to female unity? Oh, and one more person said, I thought Mulatto was a girl's girl. So I'm just happy that Mulatto is finally being exposed for who she is. Like back to back, people are finally calling her out. And I'm just so totally here for it at the end of the day. Clock it. Clock it. She's constantly trying to be someone that she's not, and she clearly has an identity crisis. You about the what? I'm about to get the fuck off here because I'm sick and tired of these guys, bitches, fucking lying on my fucking name. Sick and fucking tired of y'all. 
Y'all, I did so good on this video for real. Why you gave me like that, bitch? No, she didn't either. Bitch, you ain't dead. I gotta get your point. You definitely ain't that, bitch. Okay. But anyways, if you stuck through all the way till the end, remember, remember, please go on over to Facebook and follow Barb City over there if you have not already. And if you're just choosing not to and you use Facebook, your breath stink, okay? With that being said, I love you guys so much. Thanks.